Walker from the Yoga Ranger Studio and today's yoga snack is all about the core. That four letter word that none of us want to hear, but all of us want to work. So this is going to be an under 15 minute practice, some sort of odd things you may have not thought of. We are not going to do sit ups or planks or anything like that. So it's sort of a wrist free, hands free version of this but it will work your core in every way that you can possibly work it. So we're going to start on our backs. Take those feet about hip distance apart, hands alongside the hips and go ahead and take those feet up toward the ceiling. Take a few breaths here. and bend your knees to a 90 degree angle. You're gonna take that right foot out, tap the heel down far away from you, bring it back in, switch to the left, and right. Very slow movements. This is gonna seem very simple at the start, but we're gonna do 10, and it'll start to build up. So think of the core as a canister, starting at the bottom with the pelvic floor, moving up into the triple layer of core on the front side, the side body, and the lower back, with the top of your canister being your diaphragm, so your breath. All of these need to be strong, but they also need to be supple. So one last time on the left, come back to center, take the feet straight up. Keeping that left leg up, drop that right heel down, and back up, left heel down. Back up nice and slow. The slower you go, the more your core has to really work to control the descent and ascent of your legs. Don't worry, we'll take a break after this. You need to work the core and then you need to rest the core. It does not respond well to just continuously doing a thousand sit-ups and that will only get you one, maybe two layers of your core activated. One more on the left side. Bend the knees into the chest, give them a little squeeze. Hands behind your knees, come up into boat pose. So I like a bent knee version because I can control my chest coming forward, my shoulders coming back, toes right ahead can release your hands and then bring the bottoms of the feet together. A little relax here. Fold forward and just relax the belly. And then come back to center. Take your feet a little bit wider. Sit on your tailbone just a little bit and start to lean back. Keep your feet flat. See how far you can get. Hold for 30, 29, 28, 27, 26. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four three, two, and one. Come all the way down, hug those knees into the chest. So core serves so many purposes. Not only does it hold all the organs in, super number one reason, but it also helps keep your digestion healthier. I'm gonna take a little twist here. So take the arms out to the side, you're going to drop your knees over to the left, take your legs out straight, back in to your chest, over to the opposite side. I didn't give myself enough space here. Straighten out your legs, even though mine aren't. Come back to center, knees. So just keep the legs bent here. This is a bit of your side body, knees stacked, ankles stacked. It also protects your back, keeps your body safe and protected. 
Strong core keeps you from back pain. Come back to center, over to the other side. So if you're someone who suffers from a lot of back pain, think about the back side of your core, the lower back, as something you might want to put a little bit more time into. Come back to center. You're gonna roll onto your belly. So looking at that back side of the body, we're gonna take our hands, cross them out in front of us. We're gonna lift that left leg off the floor, keep the hip point on the floor, and lift it as far away from you as your hip as you can. So point the toes and stretch out. Drop that down, switch sides. This is one of my favorite ways to really strengthen the lower back and make sure that each side is equal. Drop that foot down. You're gonna take your knees a little bit wider, bring your toes together. You're gonna lift off the floor just like a quarter of an inch or more if you have that space. And release. Come up onto hands and knees. I'm gonna take gate pose, the great side stretches. So right foot out to the right, left knee underneath your hip. You're gonna reach up and over with your left hand, walk your hand down that right leg. But what comes with stretch also comes with strength. And come over to the side, don't drop your hand. Reach both hands out like you're holding a beach ball. over to the stretch. Come back to center and switch. So you can do that as many times as you want. Here we are time sensitive, so we're doing it just for a shorter period of time. And only one stretch. And then strengthen. stretch. Try to end with a stretch because it's worked. Come back to center and back onto your back for a last couple of poses here. So these are ones most people don't normally think of as core poses, but they really are. You're going to bring your knees into your chest, toes together. We're going to take crow pose on our back. Reach in, lift through your core, take the elbows to the inside of the knees, knees pressing into elbows, hands flat, look up as if you were in crow pose, and engage for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Relax, hug the knees into the chest. So if crow is not your favorite pose and arm balances are not your friend, this is a great way to practice it and get all the benefits of that really good core engagement. And even side crow works here. Take those knees over to the right. Elbows, palms first, and then turn. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hug the knees in. And then our other side. Twist, palms first, get a little twist there, and then side crow. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release, hug the knees, and we'll take one more mainline crow pose here. Toes together, reach up, hook yourself inside, and 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release everything down. Rock your knees side to side. Listen to your back pop. Ten, nine, eight, 
Take your feet wide, knees together, hands to your belly. <sighs> Here's where that diaphragm comes in handy. <sighs> so walk the feet a little bit closer together. You take some pelvic tilts here. Press the lower back to the floor and lift it away. A couple of times. It's great for reorienting your core and your back. Come back to center. Breathe into your belly. Two more times. Feel your hands rise. And fall. Go ahead and roll yourself up. That is your quick core yoga snack. I hope you enjoyed that. If you didn't, at least you'll feel better. I don't know. Take a moment to subscribe down below, like and comment if you enjoyed this or if you would like to see more of these or comment on what you would like to see on this channel. I am always open to suggestions and I, if you don't want to put it in the comments, you can always private message me through all the different alternatives, including YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, email, all of the above. I hope to see you again soon and I hope your core is stronger, better, brighter, and you feel a little bit more fired up about the core. Taking a look at it is this full, complete complex. We went all the way around top and bottom, so you're covered. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye. Mm -hmm.